All right, I'm going to show the process of getting uh, a climbing line up into a tree when there's a tag line already in the tree. This could be a tag line that stays in place all the time, or it could be a throw line that you just uh, got up into the tree and isolated the branch. Uh, either one will work. All right, the first thing you want to do is put your rope through the cambium saver. You can either use a leather cambium saver or there are metal cambium savers as well that are made out of conduit. Now with the, with the free end of the rope, you need to tie what's called a timber hitch onto the rope. Tie a timber hitch. If there's not a loop already in the rope, then a clove hitch works really well. To tie a clove hitch, you just make one twist in the rope, another twist that's in the opposite direction, Put them together like so. Put that down about 8 to 10 inches down the rope. And then you're going to make a series of half hitches. And then turn those hitches so that they grab onto the rope when you pull up. And I like to make two or three right at the very end. And then you'll pull the rope up and over till it just till the end comes just over the tie-in point. A slip knot is made by putting a loop in the rope and then stuffing a bite of rope through it. Just like that. When you pull on both ends, it'll come out. Alright, now as we pull that slip knot up. You'll see that that cambium saver is still stuck so that it's not really protecting the bark of the tree up there. Now the, um, just as this rope gets into, um, into reach, the cam, the uh, slip knot is encountering the bottom of the cambium saver. We do that because it's a lot easier to pull hard on, a, on the rope as opposed to the, um, the tag line which can kind of cut into your hand. So now if I just tug that into place, then the cambium saver is set. And now with holding with my left hand and pulling down with my right hand, I can release that slip knot. And now we have the cambium saver protecting the rope and the bark of the tree up at the top. When you're ready to take the rope out, you want to be sure that you're replacing the tag line so that you don't have to reshoot these lines. So just put some kind of a loop on your tag line. Now in this case, we want there to be a knot because we need to capture the cambium saver and bring that down with us. So what I like to do is a figure eight knot that's tied back far enough that there's enough tail that this is not going to come undone. And then as you pull down on the opposite side, it brings the tag line up. You want to keep your hand on the tag line so that it doesn't come whipping down out of the tree. And then once that knot gets up to the cambium saver, it's just going to nudge the cambium saver off. And then you can let the whole thing come down, bringing the tag line up. It's a good idea whenever you're putting your tag lines, whenever you're storing your tag lines, to make sure that the two ends are tied together in some kind of a loop so that if, in case kids or adults uh, uh, find your tag lines and are playing with them and accidentally untie them, uh, you don't want one end of your tag line to end up high up in the tree and the other end on the ground. And you'll have to re-shoot uh, your slingshot or whatever to get it up in there. So tie it into some kind of a knot so that it's a loop. And then you can store your uh, line whatever way you want on a small tree. Works well. I like to do a series of 
half hitches coming down a tree just to take up some of the extra line that there might be. There might be. Sometimes you'll get twigs caught in your tagline. That's not uncommon.